Ready? Back up. If you would have went on the highway, or went back that way, that's Ross Road, back that yes. way. Okay, this right here, this is going up a mountain right here. Okay, so way up there at the top, there's bluffs that go all around this. Well, me and my mom live on the dirt road that goes up there to the end, and we used to be able to go in there, and if people could go around and um, go up there and ride four wheelers, walk, whatever. Well, somebody bought the place, and now they moved the house in there, so we can't go up there anymore. But there's been multiple people fall off those bluffs. There's been people, and so anyway, they ended up making a trail to be able to go up and <laughs> rescue people. Dang. So that, and you can't see in the dark. So if you ever come back here in the daytime, you can see all these spots where they go up and the gloves. That'd be cool. I don't, know. I don't know. It's showing pretty good on here. Can you see it pretty good? Oh, oh wow, that is actually yeah. no, it does, don't But yeah, so those bluffs go all the way around. There's caves up there on the edge of those bluffs, and there's actually some unmarked graves up there on the very top that. We used to go up there, but they won't let us up there anymore. They built a big house up there at the end of the road, and, and within the last year, they blocked it off and built a big old gate. But we, we had a friend that fell up there, and they had to bring him down this way mm -hmm. through the rocks and everything. There was another place we Possum Holler goes from here all the way around back to the highway, so we're going to take y'all all. But there's also... Down here by Oak Grove Church, there's some graves on the side of the road. There's some old marks, unmarked Indian graves. Hey, let's go check them out. Hello, this is Chris with Spirit Talkers Podcast. Again, we're here at Spooky what is it? Possum, Possum Hollow. And uh, we're here in Cherokee Country. We're getting ready to get told another spooky story. Okay, so we're out here, and uh, Derek Bertel was telling us about the caboose that used to be out here that everybody knows about. So we just brought them down to Possum Holler to show them where it used to be at. There's only a few remnants left of it now, but it's probably about 100 feet out there where it was at. People used to drive down here to see it all the time. So, not much left of it anymore. Russell, you want to go in there? Hmm? You want to go in there? Did y'all hear that, folks? He said he would if there was an opening. A hoe and my dope. Go ahead, whoever. This is the bridge down in Weber Falls Bottom, Possum Hollow, where Henry was telling us about the half man, half goat. So, even my dad's been down here and used to coon hunt in the area, and they had also seen tracks along the bank. <coughs> Did you hear that, guys? This is where. The Oklahoma Goat Man hangs out. Y'all hear that? Did you hear that? It sounded like something was beating on metal. Beating not beating. Maybe that's just a cricket. I don't know. It sounded so crazy. Or maybe it's really. Yeah, that's a Oh, is there a snake? Oh, look at it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's a big old snake. What is that noise? That is freaking. What? You hear that noise? Oh, that. Oh, what was that? What is that noise? Is that a frog? That's this weird sign of frog. Oh, that's a great snake. Is there a snake on there? Yeah, it's huge. You see, he's right there on the other side. Where his light's flashing. Oh, I see it. Oh, my gosh. You're wrong with that. No way. Is 
there's been multiple places down here where people have come through here and they just want to jump and drop on top of their cars while they're driving down through here. Catching a ride with them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 When you get further down here, you'll see where like, the leaves and Williams come over the road. Cool. I wonder what that means. Well, I don't know if you were. Did Sarah tell you about the cemetery that was a little bit closer up the road? Like right when we first turned down, there's a cemetery. Well, that's where the majority of our family members are buried at. And a couple of Memorial weekends, probably last year, my mom had came back down because we go do decoration at the cemetery, and she came back later on in the afternoon and went down there by herself and that's where my dad is buried at and while she was down there she smelt like that really musky smell that you hear people say that they get when they are near Bigfoot uh -huh. and so it scared her because she's not very fast and she was afraid that maybe it was a skunk was out there with her and so she started looking around and she didn't see a skunk she couldn't hear anything she said it was very still no birds making noise or anything and then she said that smell just slowly started like it just kind of drifted away where she couldn't smell it anymore. Mm. That was mm. last year. Okay, things like this just don't happen. Hey, we're out here and something blocked our road. Things are even throwing rocks at us now. <laughs> 